I can't believe I started this this morning. This day has been like five days in one. I am very tired. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Rebecca and I'm here for day two in my one month in my witchy journals series. So if you're watching this from the future, I will have, or this is just your first time here, I will have linked up above in the cards the playlist for this specific one month in my witchy journals series. So that way at whatever point you find this, you can just pop onto that and find all the videos, they'll be in order, blah de blah, all that fun stuff. And of course, if you do want to follow along with me, because you're seeing this like within a time that it came out, please, the way to do that is to make sure you're subscribed. Uh, I always do the thumbs up for subscribing, even though that's like, <laughs> so subscribe <laughs> and hit the bell, all that stuff. So as you might have seen, if you saw that first one, I determined that my my planning bleh, my planning routine is based around i plan in the evenings so what i'm just going to do now is i'm going to plan in the evenings i'm going to start so this is day 2 it's day 2 because i am doing my planning for the 1st of september now so my the videos are going to be my evening as the starting clip and then the the next day <clears throat> and and that's just how it's going to go and i think i'm just going to show my regular planning routines what i've determined to do is if there's any interesting other journaling things I do I will film those and they will be videos that will come out either extra videos in September depending on how busy it feels or there'll be videos coming out in October so like I did I did do some planning in here and I filmed that and that will come up come out at some point either September or October so you're just gonna have to keep your eyes peeled Anywho, stage one is my card for today. So let's take a look at that. I'm just going to write in. Use my little chubby sword. <laughs> it's so cute. And I'm going to stick to my colors here because these. Um, these were my colors for August, so this will be my last time using them. And you'll see very shortly that I will transition to my new colors. For some reason, this sword's hilt is going to be yellow. Don't know why. Okay. So let's see what this Six of Swords is about. So again, if you haven't seen it, um, this is what I do to help me study further the tarot. So I look at the card, I see if any of its themes applied to my day and I write about that. So, the Six of Swords talks about, um, they call it in this, the, the refugee card. It talks about moving away from situations that are dangerous or unhelpful and, and that kind of escape. Which is interesting because tomorrow starts September. And September, my card of the month is the Eight of Cups. So... And what I wrote was, I've been thinking a lot about the situations I am in, specifically with Nuke. Please don't ask um, what Nuke is, because I'm just not ready to talk about that. Also because I, 
there are people connected to my life who might watch this video and and I just I just don't want to even though if if they do they'll know what I'm talking about like but I just don't want to I just don't want to get into the details so there are, I've been thinking a lot about the situations I am in specifically with Nuke and how I and with how I am so how those situations affect me if I want to stay in them whatnot and also a fun little part which it's not little like trivial it's a big deal but little and like it's not it doesn't feel as big as like running away from a situation I've recently claimed no more yelling so I'm just done I don't want to yell anymore there's gonna be no more yelling I'm just done so and that's been going really well it's day two of no more yelling and we're on a roll and it's gonna keep on trucking so that was that and then we did this this morning so we don't need to do that oh shit but before that, I have to quickly, for the completion sake, and this is the last fucking day I have to do this. I got the six there. Today was a sunny day, but it wasn't super cool. Really got to organize my shit. It's kind of all over the place. The other thing I do in the evening is, and I, I'm sorry, I just keep forgetting because of the weird planner chaos shit that I was talking about in this morning's clip, which was yesterday's video up in that playlist. Um, uh, things have gotten chaotic, so I've stopped doing a lot of things, but I have like a bunch of things just haven't happened. But I'm finishing my gratitude log and another thing. Today I'm grateful. I'm I'm still grateful for amazing cool breezes. Toronto had a very big heat wave. It was it was over forty degrees for over a week. And it was horrible so I am very pleased okay that is officially it in this journal at least for the planning stuff so now I won't have to forget every day and then just go oh shit I forgot and now for my bullet journal so yes I do this stuff in the beginning of this journal too that I just did uh, a big thing I've learned with my journal system over the years is because I've been doing this for five years is being able to flip from one to another to another to get it all done is the most helpful for me okay September hasn't fully started yet. The Medi-Cal, like I said, it hasn't started yet. Now, there's one big elephant in this room I need to tell you. My spending tracker, which is on this page, as I mentioned in the video, September's video where I set this up, linked up above in the cards, I am not going to be showing that. Even though I'm doing one, one, one month in my journals, that's our financial information and it's private and even if I was comfortable with it my husband would not be so I'll let you know like so this is what it looks like and I'm get, I've already started I did start filling it in today because today was payday and I specifically want to make sure I'm seeing our grocery money for each pay period so I needed to start it today but I will not be showing you this. I'll let you know how it went if I felt it was productive in that, but uh, sorry, not sorry. 
all of this stuff. I did add in my thing to this. I did that a couple days ago. So these are all going to start getting filled in tomorrow. Okay, here's my week. Did do the video. I didn't quite get my reading done. Both of these things happened. Okay. I got some happy mail today. Even though it's not from my colors from this month, I'm going to make this pink because today I got my anniversary present from my husband. We've been together, not married, but together. Um, okay, we, we are married. Our anniversary that was on the 20th of August was how long we've been together, not how long we've been married, which is what I mean by not married, right? So... After needing to order it, we hadn't planned to get each other gifts, but then I got him something. So after ordering it, it arrived today. So I got my dice. And so I like doing stuff like this. I like being able to put in little, little guys. And like I did that here too. I write little things. This was my son's birthday. Um, <laughs> I like to be dramatic. Okay. As a left-handed, I hope that <laughs> you appreciate. It's freaking difficult for me not to turn my book when I'm writing. Because I do. Okay, so tomorrow I have a reading. I have two readings tomorrow. Okay. I need to do my priority stuff. I need to do read chapter six, and then I need to do my exercises. Slash homework. I need to try and get all of that done tomorrow. Okay. I need to do a painting I'm working on. And I need to do my patron's monthly draw. Okay, so if you are interested in a reading, my email is down in the description box. You can send me a message. I've created, um, you can just tell me what kind of reading, if you would like a reading about something, and I can let you know what I can do. Um, this is while I'm just getting things sorted and settled. I've also created, sev I I've created a few things using this combination, my Heavenly Bodies Astrology deck, to kind of form form the questions in the frame of the reading so I can do readings for your moon return which everyone has one every month or your solar return in other words your birthday um, things about north node and south node all sorts of things like that I'm working on so if you are interested in a reading just shoot me an email or check out my Facebook page which will also be linked and send me a message through there and that's there will also be my patron link so I do a monthly tarot draw and talk about what it seems like the month is going to be about. So that's all there. That is all my stuff from the weekly except for these living room drawers, which is also here. So these are all my priority. Except it is upgraded from living room drawers to just living room chaos. So that's what we're calling it now because it's real life. And now I'm just going to finish checking all of this stuff off.
Okay. That is a lot to do tomorrow. So, like that's six priorities, which is more than I like. I like, I'm trying not to overload myself. Um, oh shit, I gotta, I'll just put up here, pay wrench. Um, Patreon. Oh, right. I'm gonna make sure those get paid okay. Alright. Um, so, that is it for right now. And this is gonna be really interesting because tomorrow, I, like, starting tomorrow morning, I'm starting the endeavor of time tracking. So when we come in tomorrow morning, we will get started with probably um, my pull. I don't, I don't know. We shall see. But I will see you in just a couple seconds in your time. I just remembered that I don't have to do an intro because this is the second clip of this video for day two. So it is just after 7 a.m., because I'm awake and I do in fact do my planning literally first thing in the morning what I ended up doing was I ended up um, just sitting this morning and not doing it because my husband hadn't left for work and I didn't want to be filming while he was home before I went for work so first things first it is it is 7.09 a.m. on September 1st. Happy September, folks. The breeze this morning smells like fall, which I'm fucking excited for. Toronto had a super big heat wave where for over a week it was over 40 degrees um, Celsius. In Fahrenheit, that's like in the hundreds, I, get, I think. I don't fucking know. I, I live in Canada. We use Celsius. Um... And so I'm still, and I don't do well in heat, so I'm still like, yay, cool breezes. So let's see what my card is for September 1st. Three of Wands. Okay. This goes up. We'll see this in tomorrow's video. So now I do my, it's time for my astro view. We're seeing, so the, the, that video is linked up above in the cards explaining how I do this. Um, my dice this week, I got Pisces, I got the moon and Pisces in the, um, seventh house. So it's about, the moon is about satisfying my emotional needs. Uh, Pisces this time seem to be about giving myself compassion. Because, so, the, the Cliff Notes version is, go, go together, nope, alright. The Cliff Notes version is, I use these cards when using the Astro, the heavenly bodies astrology deck i use like whatever it is i use the keywords on the bottom to come up with a question whichever keyword is sticking out to me i make a question off that and that's how i build my my spreads like the ones i offer to others of my moon returns and the solar returns which is the birthday spread and and other things like that so if you find that interesting don't forget that you can send me an email down below in the description or you can check out my Facebook page and you can book a reading with me. I'm still trying to wrap my head around how to manage all the things I'm doing. So I'm that's why I've paused my Etsy shop while I think about the handmade things. Um, I love making customs, but I just... 
it it's just not getting any action and I'm um not motivated to make generic kinds of things really. So anywho, my astro view I'm looking at satisfying emotional needs. This is why I don't bother with jumpers for this deck. We're going to go with this spot. Okay. So what do I need to stop? That's interesting. What do I need to start? What do I need to continue? For stop for the Ten of Pentacles, I'm thinking it's about worrying about the legacy the ten of pentacles is is like the completion family card for sure and the like abundance and all of that stuff there's also an air of like the legacy the next generations and so this feels like in this position of stop it feels like a if you're so worried about the legacy in the next generations you're not focusing on the now and and that is not going to help the next generations either. Like if I'm just so, if I'm so busy worrying about the next generations and I'm like stagnating and not doing anything, then not only am I not being here for my son now, but I'm not preparing for those future generations the way I want to, if that makes sense. And for start, we got the womb. where I wrote relaxing and breathing into your safe space. This womb is an extra major arcana card. And like, it's called the womb. It's about safety and such. And then the three of pentacles. We've got continue working together and bringing what you've got to the table. Those feel like pretty good, nice cards for today. So the other thing I need to do this morning is I need to mark off my card here. Three of Wands. And that's, that's all I do in the morning. I just draw my card and I record it and I am ready for my day, which we planned earlier. So that's it really. It's not my morning clips I think are just generally going to be short. Let me just see. Do I need to add anything? Um um no, I don't need to add anything, but I do need to get cracking on this list because there's a lot of things on it. And I have an appointment for a reading at 11. So that is going to be it for today's um for day 2's one day in my journal video. I hope you're having as much fun with this as I am. Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I will see you tomorrow. Lots of love. Bye.